Hello to all. In this video, we're going to describe the steps for how to run NDMP copy in ONTAP. In the first step, we're going to demonstrate that on an SVM scope. And on the second, we're going to demonstrate that on the node scope. The NDMP copy command is running from the cluster shell via the node run. The NDMP copy can run from the command line other from the source cluster or from the destination storage system to transfer data between two systems. NDMP can run from a single storage system to transfer data from one location to another within the same storage system between vServers. We're going to proceed for demonstrating how to use NDMP copy for the vServers scope. First step will be to verify if the cluster is running in a vServer scope or running on a node scope. For this, we're going to run the following command. If the node scope is disabled, that means that the cluster is configured for vServer scope. Now we're going to run the NDMP copy in a vServer scope mode. For the first step, we need to enable the NDMP copy on that vServer. In this example, we're going to use SVM2. Second step will be to verify the allow protocols for this vServer. Here we can see that the NDMP is part of the allowed protocol, and we know that we can proceed. In case it's not part of the allowed protocol, we need to follow the next step to add it. We will use this command to add the NDMP. Make sure not to remove any other of the protocols that were exist before, because running this command without any of those protocols will remove them from the vServer. Next step will be to create the user account for the vServer and DMP. The user we're going to create will be a user for application SSH as it follows. Security login create. NDMP user, application SSH, dedication method, password. Setting up the password. Step number four will be to generate the NDMP password for the user account. Using this generated password, we're going to run the NDMP copy. Note, when running an NDMP copy at the same node or within the same vServer, you still must provide the IP address. Now we're going to compose the NDMP copy command. The NDMP copy command will run from the node scope through the node using the username we created and the password that was generated because we're executing the NDMP copy on the same vServer in this example between two different volumes using the same IP address. As noted before, even if transferring data internally with the same vServer, we're still obligated to use the IP address. and NDMP copy was executed for the vServer scope. In this second part, we're going to follow how to run NDMP copy in a node scope mode. For the first step, we need to enable node scope and to enable NDMP on the node level. This command is to enable node scope. This command is to enable NDMP on the node. You can also enable it on multiple nodes if needed using Astrid. On the next step, we're going to create the NDMP user and to set the password for the node scope.
On the third step, we're going to run the NDP copy using the username we created and the password we just entered. As you can see, we are using the node management leaf for both source and destination because the source and destination volume resides on the same node. NDMP copy on the node scope is done. That's all for running NDMP on the node scope. There are some considerations that you want to consider in case of long running NDMP sessions. NDMP is typically running from SSH. When the process is run through SSH, the process will terminate when the SSH session terminates via timeout. Avoid closing the SSH session used for running NDMP copy while the NDMP copy is running, as it will terminate the NDMP copy operation. If the NDMP session is expected to take much longer than the timeout, you want to consider using console to run the NDMP copy. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned to the next video.